Welcome to another CHI Company's training video. In this video, we'll be talking about the sequence of operations and the wiring diagram for a frost fighter in direct fired 350 or 500. When the heater is plugged into 110 power, the fan switch is energized that controls the supply motor. When the three position toggle switch is set to thermostat, the heater is controlled by the thermostat setting. If the thermostat setting is set below the actual room temperature, the unit will not turn on. If the thermostat is calling for heat or the three position toggle switch is set to manual, the burner fan motor will then activate. The air proving switch is then energized to make sure the burner motor is supplying enough airflow. Next, the high limit switch is activated. If the airflow temperature is below the maximum temperature value, the high limit switch is then satisfied. At that point, electricity will then move through two 5 amp fuses and energize the primary gas control. The 5 amp fuses protect the primary gas control circuit board. The primary gas control opens the two green solenoid valves to allow the fuel to the burner. The ignition transformer sends power to the spark rod and the burner is ignited. The flame rod sensor constantly monitors the flame. If for some reason the burner flame is extinguished, the flame sensor will tell the primary control to stop the fuel flow. When enough heat is produced in the combustion chamber to satisfy the fan switch, the fan switch will turn on the supply motor and the heater will begin to supply heat. Finally, when the three position toggle switch is moved to the off position, the primary control will stop the combustion process, the burner will extinguish, and the supply fan will operate for two minutes to cool off the heat chamber. If you have any questions 24 hours a day, please contact one of the following service locations.